Before we start, can I please confirm your name and date of birth? Yeah, it's Dr. Bethany Gill, uh, and it's 10th of August, 1995. Sip. So, um, how can I help today? I've just been feeling really awful over the last couple of weeks, and I've started vomiting most days, and I just wanted to get checked over. Okay. Can you tell me more? Um, I had the flu about a month ago, shook that off pretty quickly, um, but started feeling nauseous and a bit sicky, and then actually started vomiting over the last week. Um, it's just, I'm just not feeling very well. Okay, it sounds like you've had a lot going on. Um, tell me about the flu. Uh, well, we've got, I've got a toddler, so I suspect he brought something home from nursery. Um, you know, a couple of days of fever and, and rigors, and um, had a bit of a cough that's lingered, but mm -hmm. otherwise I've been okay. So it's all settled down? All settled down. Um, do you think that the flu's played any component to this? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. If you wind it back, so any thoughts about what might have triggered the uh, vomiting? No, um, I don't think so. Um, haven't eaten anything new. I'm not allergic to anything, really. Um, no one else seems to be sick. Okay. And I don't know what it is. I understand. So um, we can't clearly say oh, we ate here or you know, had contact with somebody who was somewhere. No, not really. Tell me about the vomiting. Uh, two or three times a day. Mm -hmm. um, comes out of nowhere. Um, and it's vomit. <laughs> what do you want to know? So a crucial one from my side is, are you bringing up any blood? Oh, no. No. Good. That's it's more important. sort of yellowy acid stuff. Okay, so um, you say acid. Is, does it hurt at all? No, it just tastes pretty bad. Okay. Um, and in terms of the top end, obviously we've got the nausea and vomiting. Any problems with uh, your bowels? Uh, no. Okay. It's very regular. And to clarify with that, you've not had any diarrhoea? No. Okay. So you've said there's not been any blood in the vomit. Have you noticed any blood to the bowel? No, thankfully. Super. And in terms of this vomiting three times a day, um, does it? how does it happen? Well, I'm just feeling sort of nauseous a lot of the day. Mm -hmm. um, and with very little warning, okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm sick. So there's no sort of run up to it in terms of abdominal pain, something like that? Not really, no. Okay. Have you noticed any association around food? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, no, there's nothing that seems to make me sick um, or makes it any better. What about the other side? If you haven't had any food, will that cause any of the nausea? Yeah, that's definitely worse. Okay, so uh, so as long as we're making sure you've had food, that settles the nausea? Yeah, if I'm sort of snacking, I'm usually okay. Okay. Is there any impact with regard to food on the vomiting, though? I don't think so. Okay. Are you still, making, are you still able to drink? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And in terms of this being over a couple of weeks now, have you noticed any change in your weight? Uh, I don't think so. So... We've talked about your bowels. Have you noticed any problems with passing urine? No, not at all. Um, back when I had the flu, I think I was probably a little dehydrated and it was a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. um, but after that, nothing at all. Okay. So to clarify with that, um, since you've been vomiting, do your urine's gone back to your normal colour? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. And how often are you passing urine? Oh, I don't know, really. Uh, four or five times a day, I suppose. Less if I'm on call. Okay, so that, that's quite a lot, but flip it around the other way around. We're not worried that you're not taking um, fluid in and things like that. No, that's and great. I drink a lot of water. Okay, so. that's great. Can I clarify with that? You're drinking a lot of water. Are you excessively thirsty? Uh, no, I think it's just a habit I picked up. I've got one of these big cup things and okay. I don't know. <laughs> um, so tell me a little bit more about yourself. Have you got any other medical problems? Um, not really. Um, I had a heart thing a couple of years ago they looked into and said was nothing. Mm -hmm. um, I had a bit of a complex delivery with, our, with my toddler. Um, no, no medical problems really. Hay fever, does that count? It does, it does, thank you. So, in terms of the heart problem, do you know what that was? Uh, they were looking into pots mm -hmm. and we didn't really get an answer either way. They told me to drink more water and eat more salt. So, crucially, cardiology said there was no problems. Yes, there. I had an echo and an ECG and a Holter monitor and everything else looked okay. Okay. So, um, so thinking about your past medical history, I wonder if there's anything that might be contributing to the nausea or vomiting. Are you taking any medications? I take a multivitamin, nothing else. Okay. How long have you been taking that? Oh, ages. Okay. Years. 
So there's, there's definitely no correlation between no, the two. No change at all. Okay. And are you allergic to any medications? You mentioned hay fever. Uh, no. Um, there's a surgical scrub at work that makes my hands a bit itchy, but other than that, no. Okay. So you've mentioned surgical scrub. You know, obviously you've said that yourself as a doctor. What is it you do for work? I'm a gynaecologist. Okay. Well, gynaecology resident. And um, at work, no one's had issues with nausea and vomiting. Things. I don't think so. None of my patients are poorly. Okay. Um, obviously, just dotting the i's and crossing the t's. Do you smoke at all? No. Okay. Uh, do you drink alcohol? Very rarely, if ever. I might have one or two a month. Okay. And do you use any recreational drugs? No. Okay. What was what? Did, you know, what did you think might be contributing to this? I'm not sure. Uh, I wondered if it might be reflux. Mm -hmm. um, I wondered if maybe the flu wasn't the flu, maybe it was some sort of tummy bug. Um, I don't really know. I just thought I'd come and get it checked out. Okay. So in terms of the reflux, you've not mentioned any pain. Let's clarify with that. Are you getting any heartburn? No, not really. It's I get the I only get the acid taste when I've been sick. Okay. And any problems with your stomach? Any pain? Not really. Okay. Um, obviously, you've come in today. What's worrying you about this? Well, it's preventing me from working properly, really. Um, and it's not very nice being sick all day. <laughs> Absolutely. Anything particular that you were hoping we'd do? Get the all clear. OK. Speaking of an all clear, um, in terms of the nausea and vomiting, can you tell me about your periods? Um, they used to be very regular, uh, and I breastfed my, to my toddler for a long time, but that stopped now. Um, after that, they've sort of just been irregular, really. They can come, they can go. Okay. When was your last period? Oh, I'd have to check, but probably a couple of months. Okay. Is that unusual for you? No. Okay. Are you sexually active at the moment? Yes. Okay. And are you using, are you using any contraception? No. Okay. So I think one of the first things that we should probably do, just with regard to the nausea and vomiting, is uh, look at a pregnancy test. Would you be happy for that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Have you done one at home? No. Okay, so there's a, a urine bottle. So if you just go down to the corridor, just past the reception, there's the toilet. If you fill that back up for me, we'll come back and then we'll do a pregnancy test and see if there's any problems. Okay, so if you knock on the door when, uh, when, you, when you're back. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Come on over. So just take a seat for me. All right, let me just put on some gloves. And then I'll relieve you of that. So I'm just going to go do the test. I'll be back in a moment. OK, so we've got the pregnancy test. Um, and you've got two blue lines. So this means you're pregnant. Oh. How do you feel about that? Uh, happy. A bit shocked, but happy. Okay, that's that's good to hear. Um, so, you mentioned that the first um, pregnancy was um, slightly challenging. Yes. Okay. Um, so, I think based upon this, we don't know um, when your last period was. Uh, we've got a, a positive pregnancy test. Um, let's get you booked in with a midwife. But also, I think it would be reasonable at this stage, because of the things with the last pregnancy, that we refer you for consultant-led care for that uh, for this one. Okay. Would you happy for me to do that today? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. In terms of looking at the nausea and vomiting today, um, I think it would be reasonable, given that we could assume that this is um, due to the, um, the, the positive pregnancy test, that we look at some simple, um, you know, anti-sickness medications in pregnancy. Would you be happy for that? Yeah, that's fine. I'll try anything. Okay. So again, although you have told me, could you confirm once more? Do you have any allergies at all? Uh, any medications? Chlorhexidine scrub makes my hands itchy. That's it. Super. So we'll go with a simple antihistamine for you and hopefully that will improve uh, the symptoms. Um, we've also done a urine dip and I can confirm that there's no signs of an infection or anything like that there and there's no glucose. So that's very, very useful. Now, I appreciate that this has been a little bit of unexpected. Mm. Do you have any questions for me at the moment? Is there anything else I should be taking? Um, I'd make sure that you're taking a pregnant care or uh, an early pregnancy vitamin to make sure you're getting plenty of folic acid mm -hmm. and uh, a vitamin D supplement within that. Um, obviously, you've had one child already, so you're aware of the, the foods and things that you should avoid. 
but what we'll do is I'll send you the practice guidelines on you know health, healthy and safe foods for pregnancy, just so that we've dotted the I's and crossed the T's on that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you today? No. Do you mind if I go and call my husband? He's in his clinic at the minute. I'm sure he'll be very pleased. Thank you, Raj. Take care.